What's poppin' everybody? This is Saber Wolf 4. This will be game two with the Garbodor Alola Muck deck. Game one went pretty well, so hopefully we perform. This deck performs nicely in this match as well. Uh, we flipped our Mega Gengar coin, got Tails, unfortunately. Uh, but it seems my opening hand is very good. Starting with Jirachi, uh, this is the best Pokemon you want. I have one of the Grimers too, cannot complain about that, so very nice. Got the Mysterious Treasure to search, Trubbishes, get even more of our basic Pokemon in play. And I've got the Lily in hand, turn 1, don't even have to dig it with Jirachi. So things are looking good in my opening hand, I would say. It seems my opponent mulliganed there, and he revealed a bunch of interesting things, Jolteon GX, which is likely, this is a Zapdos deck, uh, usually that's what Jolteon GX is paired up with. And I got another Garbodor from the Mulligan. Okay, that's not very good, but you know we're still we're still fine with the Lily. My hand is solid, and attaches the Choice Band there. Useless card in this matchup. I do not run any GXs, so don't care about that. And it seems he didn't get he didn't get anything. Attached the Lightning Energy, but didn't get Jolteon uh, GX, which can only mean. Uh, the one or two copies he might be running are prized. Uh, I don't even know if he runs two. Like maybe he's running one. So I guess uh, you gotta pay the price with that bad luck. Uh, it does suck for him. It does suck. This is gonna make a difference. You know, getting that Jolteon GX early is what you want if you're gonna open up with EV. And it's got a cheap attack too. You can start doing solid damage immediately. So kind of sucks for him, but it is what it is. So we top deck the Trubbish, good thing, good thing. I gotta get my basics out. And let's see here, use Stellar Wish. It seems I've got the option of, hmm, should I get the switch? Maybe use Grimer and attack, uh, Erika. Let's get Erika. You know what? Hmm, I could play it, but we gotta dump a few things. I think I can't use it even if I do that, so. Let's let's dump it with Mysterious Treasure. So I basically grabbed it only to dump it. Yeah, it's kind of sad. But you don't want to dump your Stage 1s. You want to keep all of them. So use the Mysterious Treasure, get the Trubbish. And if I use... Let's use the Field Blower and then use the Lily. I can draw 5 cards. So it was basi it's basically the same as if I, if I used the... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah, if I used the Eric, it would have been the same result. So, okay. And let's see, we get a lot of our stage ones, even more of them. Uh, got another Alola Muck, so I've got four of these guys in hand here. Uh, the good news is, is that I'll be able to play them next turn, unless my opponent does something fucked up like more Shadow. Man, I hate that card so much. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it anymore. I despise that card. Anyways, it seems he's gonna use Nest Ball though, so I think I'm safe. And he gets another Zapdos. So his bench is, is pretty much full now. Got the Zapdos there. Got the Jirachi placed on the shrine. That's useless. Not going to do anything either. And goes with the Lily. Draws a few cards. And Escape Rope. Okay, he's going to force me to put something else in the active position. So let's do Trubbish. It's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, the Grimer is valuable. Uh, the Ditto is basically a Joker, either Grimo or Trubbish, so I'm not going to promote that. So that's the only option. And if you kill me, you kill me. You are going to kill me with Zapdos. So Thunder is Assault. My opponent will get the first prize. Sucks, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, that's the benefits of running this sort of Zapdos deck. is much faster if you get that swap combo, that switch combo. Doing 80 for 1 really puts the hurt on these small basic Pokemon. So let's pay down another Trubbish and evolve into a little Muck. Hopefully I discard some trainers here, some items. And looking good. 1, 2, 3 of them. Electro Power and Escape Rope. Two good, good discards as well. Not going to lie. And play down the other Muck too while we can. And give me a little bit of luck once again. Uh, damn, jack shit this time. It's a bit sad. Uh, these Zapdos decks, you know, should be really heavy on those item cards. You know, full play sets of switches and escape ropes and shit. 
So, got a bit unlucky there. Sad. So, get a few nice things with the Cynthia. Get the Psychic Energy. Get another Mysterious Treasure. You know what? Let's play that down. Get another Trubbish. Discard the Whistle. Uh, just gonna do that. I don't need to dig since I have uh, the Cynthia for next turn. Let's just get Garbodor and evolve that next turn. So, Treasure Lanch. Uh, thankfully, I'm doing enough damage. My opponent played a bunch of trainers, a bunch of items on his own. Like I've said, the Zapdos Lightning decks use a lot of these items. So, I'm at 160 damage already. So, looking good. I can KO any of my opponent's Pokemon besides the Jolteon in one hit. So, this is already very nice. So, trading Knock Gods there. I didn't uh, miss a beat. I got my Knock God. And I don't even need to worry about getting more mucks out. Uh, we're already at 160 damage before even the choice band. So, Jolteon GX, by the time he decides to use that, I should be able to hit that guy for one, for 200 and get a one hit knockout on it as well. Okay. So, another Zapdos. It seems he used the stretcher. And uh, gonna do that switching thing with Jirachi. Use the Kukui too. Damn it. That's uh, with Electro Power. Yeah. Uh, it's enough for him to knock me out. Damn shame. 130 damage. So he got really lucky there with that damn Kukui. And we're going to promote our Trubbish there. I've got my Garbodor for another attack. And we got to dig for more guys. Uh, let's use the Nest Ball. Attach a Psychic Energy. And uh, what am I going to grab here? We got to get... Oh, shit. It seems I don't have... <laughs> I don't have any more Trubbishes. What kind of luck is this, man? I mean, I guess two of them died, but it means the other two are in the prizes. So this is not this is not good, because this Garbodor is my only attacker. Really bad luck, man. We even used the Jirachi, the Ditto, what I meant to say. So I gotta see I gotta see it from this Not God, otherwise this ain't looking good. But I make a really big misplay there, using the other Nest Ball again and getting an Alolan Grimer. I didn't need to do that at all. I mean, discarding more of my opponent's items is not bad because they do need those switches to make that Zapdos hit for the extra damage. However, I needed that open spot for another Garbodor. So we didn't even get it. We didn't even get Trubbish. So I definitely need this Garbodor to survive. And I definitely need to see one of my stretchers ASAP because... Without Garbodor, like if he if he knocks out this Garbodor, and let's say I don't I can't get the stretcher, it's in the prizes too or something. If I'm that unlucky, then we can't we can't even play the game any longer, because Garbodor is the only attacker in this deck. So it seems he used the Guzma, targeted down the Grimer, uh, no problems with that. And I'm gonna go ahead with the Cynthia there, attach a Psychic Energy to the Jirachi. I don't have any other Pokemon to attach it to, so let's play down the Shrine, just cause I guess, and play down the Grimer again. That's an, another mistake, I don't know why I did that, but yeah, m mistake for sure. Uh, and I get the knockout on this uh, Zapdos, I guess since he didn't hit the Garbodor at all, maybe he's going to have some difficulty with those Electro Powers, he already used like two. Uh, he used one, and I discarded one, so he should only have two left. So promoting the Absol, okay, that's a good thing. I like seeing that. It means he doesn't have options if he does this. So Ultra Ball discards a Jirachi and a Cynthia, and what would you grab? Uh, maybe he has Guzma, actually, that's why he did that. Uh, but, I mean, it would have been in your best interest to use Jirachi, right? Anyways, he decided to get a Ranguru. He runs that Pokemon too, it seems. And he still didn't play a supporter. Uh, gonna go with Dance of the Ancients. Uh, so that Eevee is gonna be ready if it evolves into Jolteon. He got three prizes, so I would imagine he must have he must have like the Jolteon in hand or something. So check the discard pile. Yes indeed, there are two Electro Powers and two dead Zapdos as well. 
But no, he didn't get the Jolteon. He got this Tapu Koko, which is also going to do the job. It's going to do exactly 130 KO that Garbodor. Now, if I was going to be, if I was able to retaliate with the Trubbish, with the Garbodor there, that would have been awesome. Get two prizes like that. But unfortunately, you know, it was in the prizes. It didn't work out. And now we're just going to play this Trubbish down. Get another Garbodor. Damn it. And I shouldn't have played that Grimer. So we reveal the stretcher with the Jirachi there. So the logical thing for me would be to get Trubbish and play those two guys down. But like an idiot, we played that Grimer. So now, if I play one of those Trubbishes down, if he uses Guzma, he can just kill it. So I basically duck my own grave here. Uh, that was a pretty big mistake I made two times. Playing down the Grimer and then playing down another Grimer. When I don't have space, I don't have space to waste on the bench. So it's freaking, it's freaking sad. It's very sad. So we're gonna be forced to do jack shit here. I'm gonna use the Lily, draw two cards, not really get anything. I mean, I've got Jirachi in the active position either way. I wasn't gonna be able to move it. However, if he targets down that Trubbish, it's bad. He only needs to get two more prizes, so. I'm going to be in a position where I lose. Now, thankfully, he used the Kukui, so I managed to survive, I guess, and not lose the Trubbish. But, you know, even if I evolve, if he just gets Jolteon GX out or the Electro Powers, he will be able to finish off the Garbodor next turn, and I lose. I need that Garbodor to survive. I get the knockout on this uh, Tabu Coco, and then be able to survive a hit if I'm going to win. If he manages to pull something or use Electro Powers to kill the Garbodors, then I lose. So here goes Garbodor, and this is the opportunity for me to use the Stretcher. And uh, yeah, we, we gotta use the Stretcher. Get another Trubbish on the field. I've got the Garbodor in hand. Uh, my opponent chicken out his deck, how thinned out it is. I mean,. I guess I'm attaching, I'm going to try, you know what, maybe if I get out the mux there, I can just make him discard his items and he can't switch or do something, use the Zapdos. So here's one of the little mux. Uh, maybe attempt to deck him out, but it's not going to work. Uh, one, two, three uh, discards once again, good shit. Uh, he's losing there, but... I mean, no matter what, if the Garbodor doesn't survive, I lose either way. So, 300 damage. Very, very high with this Garbodor. I only need to knock out one more Pokemon. But if he gets, like, Lightning Energy, Jolteon, or manage to use the Zapdos with Electro Powers, I lose. And it seems he does have the shit. He promoted Eevee, evolved into Jolteon. And if he has an energy, I basically lose. Like, he needs an energy and electro power, actually, to be precise. So, is does he have that? Then he has it. Okay. So, it's GG. Uh, put up a good fight, but a few misplays on my end, I would say. Uh, and it cost me the game. And he goes, well played. You have a good deck. Thank you. I appreciate that. I try. I try to make good decks and show you guys good decks. Uh, but it's GG, uh, good game even though I lost either way. So I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, and share this with your friends. See you guys next time. We'll see.